Remain don't calm. Panic. Remain don't calm. Sonny really wants to get that double left side of the blind. Unhooks, back roll the to toe side, handle pass. Oh! Oh, oh he just barely missed the bar as he goes for the back. themselves in quite a predicament, but as long as they both stay calm, they're actually a lot safer. I had fallen, my kite was in the water, and Reed's a kind of a showboater. He wanted yeah. to spray me, and then he fell and landed on my kite too, so it got wrapped up in my bridle. Oh. Yesterday yes, more than yes, once. It has. Yeah. Uh. I just sat there, and Reed was the one who was in my lines. I mainly was at fault. <laughs> he was solely at fault. <laughs> Really just remain calm and yeah. look at the problem at the end and if you you know try to follow the lines and see what what usually, needs to happen for you to get out of it, basically. Yeah. Usually if somebody panics and pulls their release or ditches their kite, that other person has yeah. that other kite. And then on you their get a hand. big spaghetti yeah. ball of line. And he recognized that he was at fault in the situation. And then and I, our insurances I are gonna take him, care of the rest. Yes. While the competition here is intense, kiters still take the time to watch out for one another. The kite community around here, especially in the Gorge, Stevenson area, um, our, most of us are all very good friends, you know. We always try to have each other's backs and everything. This kiter helped rescue her friend. But it doesn't always work out. If you look out with it, it looks like we're having a little bit more of a kite there than you can imagine. Rachel accidentally landed her kite on Marnica's kite. It can get pretty dangerous. You get potentially fatal if a line wraps around your neck and a kite powers up. But if you know what you're doing and you're calm, that will not happen. know how to recover from a crash, you are more likely to try new tricks and you progress more rapidly. The vibe at this event every year is unparalleled from any other event I've been to. Oh man, this is a great competition. Uh, you know, longest running uh, amateur kiteboarding competition out here. You can see we have a ton of competitors. To launch from here, you have to have someone do it for you. So you get to know your pal. Hey, would you launch me? Oh, thank you so much. Hey, would you like to have a beer after? Volunteers do a stellar job helping competitors launch and land on the limited waterfront. How about some dinner? Yeah, Why I'd love some dinner. <laughs> wine? Yeah, I maybe. Love wine. Mm, a nice Merlot. Oh, we can All the families around here will be taking in riders that uh, that come here from around the country, and uh, yeah, it's just one big party with a little competition thrown in. Lose your way Tony is doing a great job. I think that's great that we do it every year.
like this event here at Bridge of Gods, it's just about amazing people getting together and having fun, looking out for each other. And that's really what it, the event, any event could be about, or should be about anyway. It's when you panic and you're trying to fix everything all in two seconds that that's when problems occur. like occurred. us, we panicked. Just... He panicked. We've, and well, got caught. That's, that was his call for panicking. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations to Reed Brady, who went on to win the men's pro competition, and Alex Fox, who came in second. <laughs>